Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome back to City of Gangsters, where last time we finally made use of all of our buildings. So Pete's place over here, that is now a great big warehouse. Our new laundromat that we acquired last time, it's over there, it's hiding behind Penge Cupboard. There we go. So Suds and Search is very busy making lots of lovely brick wine, and the car sales place down here, that is in the very slow but steady process of being turned into a proper speakeasy. I mean that's taking a long time, it's taking a while to get that done. I think they're trying to get the furniture in the right place and such like, you know, feng shui and all that. So it's all looking very good. Things are looking very good indeed. Our main job right now is to get a delivery person sorted for the brick wine because we have nobody delivering the brick wine over here. And I imagine we've got quite a stock of that. Yeah, we have 45 crocs of brick wine just sitting there. They're just sitting there doing absolutely nothing at all. And we probably do have some more on the way. In fact, yes, in one more turn, we're going to have another 45 crocs of brick wine. So very soon we will have 90 crocs of brick wine just sitting there doing nothing at all. So I think we need to get somebody to go and deliver that. That's going to be very important. So here we go. Let us go and recruit person number 12 to the cupboard crew. This is very exciting. So uh, we go to there and go to the crew list. So let's see who we've got. So we need somebody who is good at delivery. So friendly and agile and whatever the other ones are, I'm not entirely sure. So let's have a look who we've got. So here we have got quite a lot of options an awful lot of options. I mean, there we go. Ronald. Ronald Allen here is already friendly and agile. I mean, that could be quite good. That could be quite good. Oh, however, however, he does have very thick glasses on, which means we might not want to give him a firearm or the keys to one of our vehicles. Okay, right. So that could end up, that could end up going quite wrong there, Ronald. Um, okay, let's go through the list. I'm just going to see if we can find anybody that might actually fit the bill as a very good delivery person. Okay, so I've used the little sort of trait drop down thing over here to filter our list of potential candidates to those who have the talkative trait, because that does seem the best one for us. So the description of talkative says, got some deliveries to do. The talkative type is likely to find out some things while on the job, but as a barkeep, they tend to talk too much and pour too little. So the barkeep thing doesn't bother us at all. But yeah, they're good at doing deliveries because they're quite chatty with the people that they're delivering stuff to or you're picking stuff up from. So that's very handy. And it seems that we only have two people. Two people out of all of those candidates have got the talkative trait. So they're not a very chatty lot in Chicago at this time of year. So we have the wonderfully named Bill Burns and we have Bernard Petrov. Now, I know he's called Bernard. I do like that. That's a good name. But the name Bill Burns is brilliant. I do like that. Bill Burns. And he is 20 years old and he is English, is Bill. Now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that Penge Cupboard might well get Bill on board because he's English. You know, they've got something in common there. They can talk about tea and the king and all that kind of stuff. So I think that might be who we go for. So, uh, yeah, Bernard here, 23 years old and Russian. I mean, he is called Bernard and I do like a Bernard but I think we might go for Bill. Penge Cupboard, I think we'll go and get Bill on board. So yeah, they're both friendly. So they're both talkative and friendly, which is very handy. However, Bernard is nervous, which is no bad thing. That's not a bad thing. And Bill is upright. So again, I'm not too bothered about that. Hopefully we're not going to be getting him to do anything that might be a bit dubious. We're just going to get him to sell some illegal wine. But yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure he'll be interested. So yeah, I think... Let's get Bill Burns. I like the sound of Bill. Bill sounds like a person who can get things done. Plus, he is wearing a hat. And Bernard, you're not wearing a hat. So Bill, well done. You've got yourself a job. Now, where do we go for this? So Irina Kaminsky, where are you? Right, you're over there in Kaminsky's supply place. So Penge Cupboard, can you pop over here, please? And recruit us a shiny new person. This is all very exciting. Okay, we've only got the one favour remaining. But here we go. Let's cash that in then. So I'm looking to hire somebody. Tell me more. It's Bill Burns. He's very good. Okie doke. There we go. Yes, please. Use up the favour. Oh, we got the favour back, I think, because we're now sort of linked to them somehow. Okay, right. This is very good. Right, everybody, welcome Bill. Where are you, Bill? There you are. There's Bill down there. He is currently unassigned, but that's fine because he's not got a vehicle. So we want to give him that small delivery truck just there. So we'll pop him into that, and then we've got to set up his uh, sort of whole wine delivery route thing. So hang on a minute, hang on. First things first, right, Bill? Can we can we set you up with a can we set you up with a thing? There we go, there we go. Right, so Bill, have a vehicle. Um, right, this doesn't help. That which which one is this? Hang on. So pickup truck. It's not that one. It's not that delivery truck because that looks a little bit beat up. It's that one there. So let's put him into that one. I think. Hang on. Bill, where have you gone? Bill, are you up here? Yeah, there we go. So that delivery truck is not falling apart. It's all very good. Okay. 
Right, welcome, Bill. Now, where are you, Bill? You're right in the middle. Okay, there we go. There we go. There is Bill there with his hat on. Right, so now we just need to set up a whole delivery route thing for you, Bill. Oh, my goodness me. But let's not forget that we need to make sure we get a good supply of brick wine down here because they're going to sell, I mean, 50 crocs. 50 crocs of wine are going to be sold every five turns. And that's without any kind of expansions and upgrades and all that kind of good stuff. So I wonder, I wonder if the majority of that's going to go down into there. I think we're just going to be ferrying the brick wine from there down to there. So we're going to make it there and we're going to sell it there. Hang on, how long does it take to actually make the brick wine again? Seven turns to make 45 lots. And, oh crikey, hang on, hang on, these numbers are not computing, are they? And every five turns, they're going to sell 50. Ah, right, okay, we might need to kind of up the production a bit over here. We might need to make things a little bit better. I mean, do we have the upgrade for, uh, hang on, that one there, we got that? No, bonus bricks is what we need. Does anybody know the skill of bonus bricks? That would be really handy if we could have that. Learnable skills, no, nobody. It looks like nobody you know has skills to teach you. Oh dear. Okay, I mean, right now, it's fine. It's all okay right now. We'll just sort of have to put up with that for the moment, and maybe the speakeasy might struggle ever so slightly, but not to worry. Um, okay, Bill, let us set up a new delivery route for you, so you're going to pick up some money. In fact, right now, does he need to pick up any money? All he needs to do, I think, is pick up the brick wine, take it from there, put it over here, and then go back over there and do the same thing again, and occasionally pop by a vehicle place and get your vehicle mended. I think he's going to have a very, very easy life as Bill. <laughs> he's just going to drive between the same places over and over again. Um, okay, right, so Bill, whereabouts are you? are up there. So we need to create ourselves a new delivery route. Uh, let us assign... Hang on a minute. Let's call it um, uh, uh, Bill's uh, Brick Wine. Uh, Bill's... Hang on. No, no, no. Bill's Beautiful brick wine. There we go, look, because it's Bill's thing. Right, so Bill's beautiful brick wine. We will assign Bill Burns. He's in a delivery truck. Okay, right, so here we go. This is going to be fairly straightforward, I think. So yes, we just need to do a bit of a uh, storage pickup, pick up all of the stuff, and he might actually want to pick up the money from the speakeasy and put it back over here. That could be one of his other jobs, because otherwise he's going to have a very limited sort of th list of things to do. So storage pickup, Pick up brick wine, please. Pick that up from suds and such. So pick up all of the brick wine that there is right now. This is fine for now. So yes, please. Pick up that. And then, I mean, he doesn't need to pick up anything else, does he? Drop off the brick wine at, um, at the Republic Car Sales place. So drop that off. Yes, please. And then also uh, cash pick up. Ensure cash on hand. What does that do? What does that do? Is that new? Has that always been there? Ensure cash on hand. Does that mean they just take an amount of cash? Hang on. Hang on. So storage pickup is cash or ensure cash on hand. I don't know what the difference is between those two. I'm going to go for the storage pickup because I feel safer doing that one. So um, yeah, pick up all of the money from Republic car sales. So yes, please. And then storage drop off. Um, drop off the cash at... I mean, do we want to keep everything in one place? I don't think we do. We want to spread our money around a bit. So take that back to Suds and such. You know, they can enjoy a bit of the uh, enjoy a bit of the money that they're helping to create there. So um, there we go. Right, so yes, do that. And then after you've done... Uh, actually, actually, hang on. We forgot about the car thing, didn't we? We forgot about the car thing. Hang on, we can, we can readjust this. Right, repair your vehicle... We could just get him to go to Titanic Motors because it's right there. So repair your vehicle at Titanic Motors, please. So um, per agreement, yes. Okay, so do that and then we'll just sort of, uh, we'll shift that around a bit. So yeah, so we go from here, pick up wine, then drive over here, drop off wine, pick up cash, repair vehicle, drop off cash, continue route forever. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. I think maybe... Maybe he does. Oh, hang on. He needs a weapon, doesn't he? He needs a weapon in case somebody decides to go and, you know, poke him in the head or whatever. Um, Hang on. Right. Pop over to the storehouse. Oh, blimey. Okay. <laughs> Don't pop over to the storehouse straight away. Take a look around. This is Sheila's place. They do really good sandwiches. It's very nice over there. Um, 
yeah, okay, so we'll have to get that route sorted in a second. However, other people will be doing things. So yeah, now some people said there is a focus view thing. There we go. Right, so Steve, you're having a bit of a wander around here. There is a police officer. Okay, so let's go over to here and uncover Ruby's American flowers. They've done business with another outfit, but they're not really talking to us. Okay, and pop over to there. There we go, uncover both of those. Let's go in there. We cannot because we don't have enough action points. Okay, never mind. And then Penge Cupboard, whereabouts are you? Sort of just mooching about over there. That's fine for now. You stay over there for now. That's all good. You can just sort of lurk around. Let's get, let's get this sorted. Let's get Bill ready. So here you go, Bill. Carry on going around here. Ooh. Ah, Frowny Face's vehicle's been repaired. I forgot that was what the little icon looks like. Right, hang on. There's a lack of space somewhere as well. We'll go and sort that out in a second. Right, so... Here you go, Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. Let's give you a weapon. Um, I don't think you need the Winchester rifle. You're not a fighty type. Let's just give you a pocket pistol. There you go, Bill. You have a means of defense now. So let's just check that Bill does indeed have a pistol. There he goes. Right, so he's got a pistol. That's all very good. Now, do we just want to make sure that he does pick up a bit of money first? Do we want to make sure that he does that? Hang on. We might want to do that. Uh, let's go into there. Just from suds and such, let's just get him to pick up $100. Just in case he doesn't get the money from here. Because, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's not generated it. And then he can't repair his vehicle. I'm sure that will happen very, very fleetingly. But let's add a step in. Where we just pick up. So, well, yeah, storage pick up. From suds and such, pick up cash, please. And pick up, I don't know, 100 um, hang on, what is it? Shift to go up 100. Yeah, just pick up $100. So just do that. The very first thing you do. Splendid. So pick up some money, pick up wine, drop off wine, pick up cash from car sales place, repair the vehicle, go back and drop it off, and then continue. Now we know here they're going to drop off all available cash, and then he's going to pick up $100. That's fun. I don't think... Do they count as action points? Does that count as an action point? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if that does, because we could say, here we go, thinking out loud, we could say drop off all available cash, or we could say drop off, uh, hang on, not all, all but, hang on, why don't we do that, all but $100, so save that, and then we can get rid of that first step, because we don't need that, because he's going to drop off all the money except $100, so he's always going to have $100 on his person, yeah, let's do that, there we go, right, and then, Start that delivery route, Bill. Here we go. <laughs> now what we need to do is get the actual thing up and running down here. We need the uh, the speakeasy going. How long was it? Another three turns, my goodness me. Just sorting out furniture and such like. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. Right, so I think... Let's go back down to... Um, let's go back down to Steve down here. Um, Steve, have a nosy into here then. Okay, they're not talking to us. And have a nosy into there. Lumber and barrels. Okie doke. Not overly brilliant. How about then we go here? Go on, Steve. Stick your nose in over there. A uh, sweet shop. Okay, so a candy store type thing. And another kind of mill. Okay, that's fine. That's all good stuff. Okay, so we can deal with that. And then we can't go anywhere else with you. That's all fine. I um, mean, do you want to do some more missions whilst we're here? Do you know what? Let's go and get, actually. Let's use Penge Cupboard. I think Penge Cupboard's there. Let's go and pick up some more small barrels. And we'll take them over to whoever wants them. Who was it again? It was, it was yeah, them there. So take them over to there and get some more grape concentrate. Because that could be very handy. Because at some point we are going to run out. Because we can't supply it ourselves properly. There was a place over there, wasn't there? But it's not very nearby. So, um, yeah, let's go and do that mission again. So we need 18 small barrels. Remind me, game. I've been to sleep multiple times since we actually played this last. Where do you get the barrels from? Oh, okay. Right where we are. We got any money? A thousand dollars, right? Yeah, okay. We're looking pretty flush right now. Um, can we get some small barrels, please? That would be great. Okay, seven of them. That'll do. Right, so let's drive over to these places over here. And there we go. That place sold us some. And Florence over here has given us the final ones we need. So there is another 18 barrels, which is all very good. So yeah, we'll just do that immediately. We just do that and pop the thing straight over there. So we go into here. We say, hello, here you go. There's some barrels. We will keep that going because that makes perfect sense. So keep that going. Hooray, we completed a mission. I mean, they're really, really happy with us. Myrtle is loving us right now. And that can go straight into suds and such. 
There we go. Now, one place was struggling, wasn't it? Because it was full. Is it here? Yes. Oh, my word. We seem to have all of the beer in the world in there. <laughs> there's, there's so much beer in there. That's a ridiculous amount of beer. We've got a good amount of cider in there. That's only 20% full. And that's looking pretty good. Yeah, hang on. Right. Penge cupboard. Where are you? Penge cupboard. Come down here and help out with this. I don't mean go and drink all the beer because you'll be completely, completely annihilated. No, don't do that. Don't drink the beer. You're more of a tea drinker than a beer drinker. But how about we just take as much of that as we can, 89 lovely crocs of it. Um, let's pop down here. Now, how much is um, how much is in Robert's candies right now? Uh, there's 42. Okay, so let's drop some beer into there. There we go. And then, just because we might as well be prepared, in fact, we are going to need to adjust uh, delivery routes and such like, aren't we? Uh, let's drop some beer off at Republic Car Sales at our lovely new fancy pub. So pop that into there. Okay, so that's that done. So yeah, what are they going to sell in terms of beer? 100 every five turns. Oh my goodness me. Um, right. Okay. Do you know what? Can we get some more? It's not like we're going to run out, is it? Okay, go to the next turn. Here we go. Right, go and do this. Hello, it's us. Can we get some more of that lovely beer that you talk about? Okay, so pop that down over here. And that will sort that place out quite nicely. Hello, Bill, how are you? Have you dropped off some stuff over here by any chance? Yes, you have. A load of brick wine. That's very good. 90 lots of brick wine in there, which will not last that long. That's not going to last that long at all. Okay, we really need to get that sorted. That's going to be a huge, big thing. Um, okay, right, Steve. Uh, go exploring. I mean, there's a gap there, isn't there? There's an obvious gap just there. So look at those. That's a car place. That's Cafe Virgo. Grapes and stoneware crocs. Okie doke. Um, and then that's gang territory. Let's head over there if you could, please, Mr. Uh, Mr. Steve. And then, I don't know, what do you want to do now? I, I want to get the thing done. I just want to get the speakeasy set up. And then we can employ another person. In fact, can we employ somebody now to go in there? Can we put a manager in right now? Um, yes, we can. We can, so they're ready. Um, okay, I mean, let's have a quick look. Is there anybody that's going to be good? Um, not skills, uh, crew list. Um, is there anybody that's going to be good at working in the speakeasy? I mean, yeah, attractive was a good thing to have, wasn't it? Um, I don't know what order this list is in. <laughs> Alphabetical would be useful, wouldn't it? But there we go. Um, yeah, where is, there we go. Attractive. Attractive is very handy for a, a bar person because yeah people just enjoy being around this person and they'll draw some extra customers to your watering holes so we want somebody who is attractive to bring people into the bar so i've uh, got chester we have got ludmilla ludmilla so attractive agile and uptight okay we've got lester flynn who's attractive and nervous we've got hannah romano who's irritable and attractive irina smirnov who's irritable, agile, and attractive. And Fred, who is attractive and strong. Oh, Fred, you've got very big arms. Um, okay, so do we want Chester, who is attractive and mellow? Um, okay, that could be quite good if he's kind of you know, quite chilled out behind the bar because people are going here for a bit of a break, aren't they? They're going here to relax and unwind. So maybe if there's this very attractive, so, you know, really laid back, mellow, chilled out chat behind the bar, that's going to be good. That's going to be a good thing for people. Or we get Fred. We get Fred in, who is attractive and strong. But it says there they can handle a weapon and load a truck. And they're not going to be doing that. They're not going to be doing that at all. I mean, yeah, do they need to be attractive? I think that's what we want, isn't it? I think if they're organised, um, there's only one person left that's organised. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, I don't think that helps with bar stuff, does it? Um, no, I don't think. I think, oh, hang on, sociable. That might be quite good. Okay, I mean, let's let's put that idea to bed then because <laughs> that's that's not going to work. Um, confident? Nope. Okay, right, we've got slim pickings going on here. Um, okay, I think. I think that might be what we go for then. Here we go. Let's go for attractive. I think Chester. I think Chester. Really laid back. Very attractive. People are going to love going to the uh, to the new pub over here. So, uh, yeah, let's get you on board. Now, where do we go for you? At the hotel. Oh, that could be quite good. Right, Penge Cupboard, get your, get your vehicle over to the hotel, please. Let's kind of have a chat with them. A few favours with them. That's all very good. Looking to hire somebody. Tell me more. It's Chester. He's American. Okay, there we go. Ah, it's Victor's son. Oh, this is going to be great. We're going to get some good 
some good opinion there. Yeah, that's gone up quite nicely indeed. Okay, wonderful. So we've now got 13 out of 13 people. And immediately, let's put Chester to work in Republic Car Sales. There we go. So Chester is now down here. Now, I don't think we can do anything with this yet, can we? Uh, we can. We can do... It's not even finished, but we can put in expansions. Oh. Oh, this might be worth doing. We do need to put in quite a lot of money, but that could be very handy. So that speeds up service and sells more booze. The problem is going to be supplying the booze, but okay. Um, what does that do? That allows us to sell a lot more booze, I think, because it's got lots of arrows and more bar seating. Um, must have any of the traits talkative, friendly, and kind. Oh. Oh, no, we've not... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We can't have more bar seating. We can't have that because they're not talkative, friendly, or kind. Oh, bother. Did we just make a terrible, terrible decision about the bar per about the bar person? Um, okay, no, we've got other we've got other things we can have. We have other things that we can put in. Okay, I think that's going to be really good. So let's just get in. Let's go and grab a big pile of money. Let's go and grab a great big pile of cash from Agnes's place. We'll throw it in for now. Um, I've just moved somebody around that I didn't mean to move around. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. We you can't you can't deny it though. We do look a bit we do look a bit familiar there. It's because we're from the same country. And we all look the same. I imagine you know all, all as English people going round with our tea. Um, okay, so let's get you over to there. Here we go. This, that's the right person. Go to there, and we will take a good chunk of money. Let's take a big pile of cash, and we just drop that straight back off over there, and then we'll do those upgrades. Oh, I kind of feel like now maybe we should have got a friendly person in. Should we have got someone friendly in? Oh, I don't know now. Do you know what? Right, throw all of that in. Hang on, I've pressed the wrong button. There we go. Chuck all of that in. Splendid. And then, yes, let's get old time glass. Well, hang on, hang on. Scroll down so we can see all these numbers here. Old time glassware. So let's get that in because it's not that expensive and it's got more little arrows just there. So 50... I mean, what are the ones that we're bothered about now? 5,160. So if we install this, that's 63, 125, and 75. We can't supply that much stuff. Oh, my goodness me. Um, an automatic dishwasher. Okay, let's put that in for 1,100 of your monies. Um, I don't know what that did. Not entirely sure. And let's put in a trapdoor. For 1,000 of our monies, but yeah, let's invest in that as well. Okay, so we can sell an awful lot of booze. We can't provide that much booze, but we will try and, you know, make that, make it a possibility. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right, a couple of turns until that is all done. Oh, that's very exciting. And there's still $347 just sitting there. You know, a bit of loose change lying around as well. Um, do you know what? It's fine. Yeah, you go and, you know, whoever it was. Who did we just employ? Chester. Chester, go and treat yourself. Go out and get a lovely cup of tea or something with that money that we left behind. Oh my goodness me, Carl has levelled up again. I mean, Carl's been working away, making lots of beer for a good long time. So well done, Carl. And he's only got one skill that he can have. Improve to level three, decreasing the amount of time needed to make homemade booze. I mean, that's quite good. That's quite handy, because that means we might be able to supply the new speakeasy with enough beer. Um, okay. There we go. Carl is very, very good. And we need to go and have a word with Officer Evelyn so she leaves us alone. Where are you, Officer Evelyn? You're all the way over there. I think, I think Penge Cupboard will be able to actually go and sort that out right now. So let's just pick up the money and go and speak to Officer Evelyn. There she is. Hello, Officer Evelyn. Here we go. Let's suggest a contribution, not a bribe. There we go. A new donation. Absolutely. 507 monies. We've got a great big pile of it with us right now. There you go. Thank you. A pleasure doing business with you once again. That's going to last until September 1928. And there are a few buildings over here that we haven't actually investigated. Why are we taking that really weird route? to go and look at those buildings. Oh, is it because we've not uncovered that before? Ah, that would be why. Okay, right, you wait there then, Pench Cupboard. I think next time, just go and have a nose at what they might be, because they might be useful to us, I'm not sure. And that is it. I think the speakeasy is up and running, which is all very exciting indeed. Okay, let's go and have a look. Um, one of the operations is stalled. Yeah, I imagine a lot of them are struggling a bit. Which one is it? It's the beer one, really? 
What a, what is the I've pressed the button that I didn't mean to press. Hang on. What's the problem with the uh, what's the problem with the beer? A lack of malt syrup. Okay, once upon a time we had quite a lot of that. Why has that gone a bit wobbly? Okay, never mind. We'll go and stock up on that again. Hang on, right, we'll sort that out in a bit. Many things have happened. One of the vehicles is getting a little bit banged up. Whose vehicle is that? Oh, hang on. It's been sorted out. I think it was Harry's, but he's gone and sorted out. Well done, Harry. Good job. And here we go. It's all ready. The speakeasy is done. We can sell some stuff every so often. Oh, look at this. We sold 16 lots of brick wine last time, 19 hard ciders, and 31 beer. Let's have a look at how much money is over here in our fantastic new speakeasy. We have no money at all. Oh, hang on. Where's the money going? Oh, has Chappie already picked it up? Maybe, maybe Bill has got it on him. Hang on. <laughs> That would be sad, wouldn't it? Hang on. He's got 1,720 money on him. There was a little bit more in there, but oh my word. Oh, that's making such a ludicrously vast amount of money. Uh, okay, that's really good. That's really good. Now, currently, the only thing we are supplying it with is, is, the, um, is the brick wine. The cider and the beer is not actually being delivered to this place. So we need to sort that out. Hang on. Hang on. Harry is there. Are you dropping things off here, Harry? Are you selling things to elsewhere? Um, I know he's probably picking stuff up from there. I mean, okay, whilst we're here, Harry, why don't we just get you to drop off some cider at Republic Car Sales? Let's just get you to do that. You might as well whilst you're there. Um, yeah, let's go to there. So yeah, we must have to find out whereabouts this is in the list, whereabouts this kind of stop is. Oh, that's quite helpful. There's a little arrow, I think, telling us what his next step is going to be. So I think he's just completed step number 12. So he's just bought apple juice from Novakowski's place. And the next thing he's going to do is this one here. He's going to go back to Eduardo's and drop off the apple juice because there is a little arrow there telling us what's coming up. Oh, that's quite handy. So I think what we need to do is... Do we insert the drop off all of the rest of the cider you've got job over here? Do we put it there? I think that might be what we do. Now, the only thing is he might not have that much cider left because we're selling it to one, two, three for Thelma's cafeteria, four and five places. So we're selling cider to five different places. But of course, they're not always going to be buying all the cider. They're not always going to be buying loads of it because, you know, they only want a little bit every so often. And in fact, how much does he have on his person right now? He's got 25 crocs of it on his person. So, yeah, I think that's what we do. So let's just go and insert a new step and then just say uh, storage drop off, drop off the cider, wherever that might be. There it is. Drop off cider at Republic Car Sales. And then, yeah, drop off whatever you've got. Drop off the remaining cider, please, because you might as well put it in there because that's quite useful. So we'll have that and we just move that up a little bit. So we'll pop that into there. So you repair your vehicle, then you buy the apple juice and then you drop off the remaining hard cider. In fact, you know what? Do it the other way round. There we go. Drop off cider, buy apple juice and then carry on as you were. There we go. I think that's what we're going to do with that. So at least that's the cider being dropped off into there. Right. And then whilst we're here, whilst we're looking at this, um, Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Right, beer guy, let's go and sort this out as well because you're going to need to drop off beer into this place. So that's going to be handy as well. So let's actually get the beer dropped off at the new speakeasy. Do you know what? Dale's already got a very, very busy route on his hands. Look at that. He's got 16 different steps to follow to complete his route. And I think adding more steps on is just going to make his life even more complicated. So I don't think we give this job to Dale. There is somebody, I think, who would be better placed to actually have the job of moving beer from Agnes's place over to the speakeasy. And that is our newcomer, that's Bill. Because Bill, at the moment, does not have very much to do. Bill's got a very easy life right now. He kind of, you know, drives around a few places. So I think, Bill, let's get you to pick up lots of beer from Agnes's place and take it over to the speakeasy as part of your route. So you're primarily responsible for wine, and that's fine, but you can pick up some beer as well on the way because you might as well. Yeah, we might as well get our money's worth with you. We're paying you some money. You might as well go and do some other stuff. So let's actually get some more steps in here and then we'll see how we get on. So, okay, so we want to do a storage pickup. We want to do Agnes's place, absolutely. And we want to get, where is it? The homemade beer, yes, please. So I think let's pick up until... I mean, what are we going to want from this? What are we going to do? I mean, it's 120 something, is it? Can we just say, let's do it until we've picked up until, let's just do 100. Pick up 100 for now. So, okay, so do that. And then uh, storage drop off, drop off all the homemade beer. 
at Republic car sales. So, okay. So those two steps are in. Now we just need to sort of figure out where they're going to go because at the moment it's all a bit of a mess. So pick up wine and then he's going to go and drop off one. Okay, so I think pick up the wine. Oh, hang on. Can we pick up the wine? We won't be able to pick up the wine and pick up the beer, will we? That's not going to work. Pick up wine, drop off wine, then pick up the beer. That's a good plan. Then drop off the beer. So get wine, drop off wine. Pick up beer, drop off beer, because then we'll you know, have room in the van. Then go and repair your vehicle. Oh, no, then pick up the money from a public car sales. Then repair the vehicle. Then go back here and drop off all the money except $100. There we go. Splendid. Okay, do you know what? Let's just give that a quick run through. Is that going to be... Is that going to be fine? That's a lack of materials. That's okay. It's only, it's only the beer that we've ran out of. Oh, dear. Um, okay, and how much money is in here now? $1,373. That is making an awful lot of money. However, I suspect we are running out of some stuff. And then, yes, cigarettes as well. Cigarettes. We do need to try and get our hands on some cigarettes. Lots of people in the comments have said that we need to go and be a little bit friendlier with um, with some of these crews because they can get cigarettes. It does confuse me that we can't go to a tobacconist and pick up some cigarettes. I don't quite know what they're selling unless they're illegal. A cigarette's illegal, but smoking a pipe is not? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure of the you know sort of rules of 1927 Chicago. But uh, but there we go. There we go. Maybe we'll go and have a word with uh, go and have a word with one of these. I and mean, they're quite near. Keller's crew are quite near. Maybe we could get somebody to just go and have a polite word with them and just see if we could maybe get some cigarettes off them. Oh, this is marvellous. We have another corner, which is very, very good. And Steve has levelled up. Oh, good job, Steve. Good job. So, Steve, all that exploring has paid off. So, here we go. Let's give Steve... I mean, he's sort of our... He's a bit of a heavy, isn't he? But at the moment, he is exploring. So, do we want to give him more movement points? Action points, not so bothered. However, he is supposed to be fighting. I think let's make him a bit fightier. Let's make him slightly better at doing the fighting. There we go. Right. And he's down here. He has just happened across the, ah, uh, yeah, an empty safe house over there. Um, yeah, absolutely. $145. Thank you very much. That is very lovely indeed. Yeah, he's just sort of having a wander down here. Just having a little explore of all these different places. Seeing what there is. I mean, what's in there? Can we get some stuff? There, not doing anything. Oh, because of the Fisher crew. Oh, ooh, hang on. Hang on. Can we go there? Can we go into there? Okay, $129 and a Billy Club. Okay, this is all looking very good indeed. Oh, that's the wrong button, though. That's not quite as good. Right, so they're a bit bothered about Fisher's crew, but I think Fisher's crew have kind of gone, so they don't need to worry about that anymore. And let's go and tell our front over here at Cafe Budapest to go and get another corner under our control, because that would be very handy indeed. So there we go, they can now work on that place. And that brings us a little bit closer to kind of linking our territories together, because they're kind of out on their own. I don't really like that so much, but yeah, if we get that corner, then we're almost sort of linked up over here. I don't quite know how we're going to manage that. But there we go. I mean, it's looking good. It's looking good. We've got ourselves three corners now. So that one there with the cafe on it, the one with the furniture place, and now that one over there. And then this will get us up to four, which means we will have 34 corners under our control, which is very, very good. Okay, so Penge Cupboard has been very, very brave. He's driven all the way over here to speak to Edwin Sanders in gang territory on his own. So Penge Cupboard is here with no backup. He's just on his own. Of course, he's armed. You know, he's got a weapon, but he's come here all on his lonesome to talk to Edwin about doing some business. Because it says here, this person is interested in finding good deals. Get on their good side. And the next time something falls off the back of a truck, they might cut you in. So I thought, ah, will they be able to get some cigarettes for us? Because lots of people in the comments said, yep, speak to the gang people, they give you cigarettes. However, we can't do any sort of chatting to them about business because we need to be on good terms with them, a relationship of at least 10 points. And I'm not entirely sure how we can get any kind of opinion with these troublemakers here because we've got nobody who knows them, so we can't go and turn in a favour because that's not going to work. I mean, yeah, they've got a lot of connections. A lot of them seem to be to all of our people, so the cupboard crew and various folks over here. But yeah, they're not really, they're not going to help us out, look. We don't know anybody well enough to then go and say, hey, can you put in a good word about us with Edwin here, please? So that's not going to work. And I don't quite know how we're going to get opinion up if we can't do that. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, we have a favour over there, do we? Oh, hang on. That might be worth doing. 
Hang on a second, hang on. This could work out. Let's pop over there. Okay, hello. How are you? Favour? Um, support with a common friend? Oh, this might work. This might work, or it, or it might not. Hang on, what? They know that other person, don't they? Hang on, hang on. They know them. They know Edwin Sanders. Um, but they're not... Why can't we... Why can't we do the thing with them? Why can't we do the handy thing where it just makes them like us more? Um, yeah, that's... That's not working at all. Bother. Okay, right, so that looks like it's a bit of a lost cause. I don't quite know how to how to make them like us. Oh, let's go out their building. Oh, look, it's an obvious safe house. Okay, hello, safe house. Um, yeah, I don't know how to get them to like us. Because that could be quite handy. But yeah, I don't know how to get a relationship of at least 10 points. Never mind. Never mind. Maybe we could do this. I'd like to do business with some of the people on your corner. I understand they're afraid of crossing you. Why don't you just have a chat with them about that? That wasn't part of our previous agreement. What can I do to make you feel better about it? Um, you're asking for more and more. I don't want any trouble, but I've got my cost too, you see. How much are we talking about? A hundred dollars? I think Penge Cupboard's got that on him right now. Okay, do that. Okay, that's three. That's three, three opinion. Okay, that's not as much as I thought it might be. Maybe, maybe in time that will creep up. Oh, botherations. I thought that was going to be quite good. Okay, never mind, never mind. Bail on that plan. Oh, and in case you're wondering why we didn't go and speak to any of the other gangs around the place and we chose that guy there, he is the only one nearby that's interested in doing business with us. Everybody else is interested in brawling for us. So these people here, all the gangs close to us, are interested in having a bit of a rumble. He was the only one nearby that wanted to do some business stuff. And Bill has leveled up already. Good job, Bill. So what do we want to actually get Bill to be doing a little bit better? I don't think he needs to be a bit fightier. And I don't think he needs any of these special skills down here. It's either action points or movement points. Let's give him some more movement points right now. And then when he levels up next time, we'll give him more action points. So there we go. You can move around a bit better, Bill. Well done. And it's the end of the year. Happy New Year, everybody. 1928 has rolled around. So let's take a look at what's going on now. How many goals do we have? We have four goals. Okay, that is very good. Now, which ones do we have? We've got that one there. So we have Grasping the Gilded Age. Total net worth, we are the best. That's very handy. Um, not quite got the corners sorted yet. We need one more person to be a captain, and that completes that goal. And that'll happen. That'll happen in time. Somebody will become a captain. So we've kind of got that one sorted in the bag, providing everybody stays alive. Um, okay, yep, that's always sorted as well. So 15 affiliates. So we're always going to have that. So that's quite handy. We do need to try and get this sorted. It'd be good if we could get a longshore men hall or a train depot or something. Um, but yeah, we'll try and get that done. And then, yeah, producer of alcohols, number one. Distributor to the people. That's quite good. Look at that. So that is stuff that's being you know, sold in speakeasies and bootlegging places, in the pubs. And we're number one at that as well. Not quite got the um, hotel thing sorted. Not really sure how we can go about that, but never mind. Um, and yeah, neutralised hooligans is 46%. Okay, we probably need, what, a couple more of those maybe? Just a couple of those and then we will be sorted. Okay, it's looking very good. Things are looking very good. It's 1928. There's our net worth. It's all very good. We've got a great big massive pile of money now. A ludicrous pile of cash. It's almost $40,000. Penge Cubber can buy all the teapots that have ever been made, I imagine, with that money. So yeah, he's very happy. He's very happy as Penge Cupboard. So I think with the new year having rolled around and things looking very good. We will finish things up for now. I think next time, let's try and get some of these missions sorted, possibly. Let's try and get that one done, maybe, and then maybe get that car deal one done as well. So get rid of some missions and then just you know, kind of carry on doing what we were doing. Try and get some more territory. It would be good if we could try and get the hotel doing something for us, but I don't quite know what they want and I'm not entirely sure how we can find that out. So we'll try and expand a bit, try and get some more corners under our control, and we will just keep doing what we've been doing because things are seemingly going quite nicely indeed. But yes, we'll finish it for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in City of Gangsters. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time right if we connect to there and open the door we're going to get vaporized by this laser and there's an electronic thing which looks like a sad kind of game boy <laughs> i'm a tiny little sort of sort of stick person in a in a computer i can't steer the train as such and look we are outside and we're in a gutter oh happy days hello leaf